food storage in plants. Specifically, we're looking at how stems, roots and leaves can be modified to act as food storage organs. For our course, we just have to give an example of a stem modification, a leaf modification and root modification. So we're going to use the potato, the onion bulb and the carrot for our three examples. Some plants can modify their stems to store food. One example is the potato plant. It forms a stem tuber. These are modified stems. They're underground stems, the tips of which become swollen with food. So the potato is actually the swollen tip of an underground stem. It's a tuber. So here is our potato. We now know that it's the swollen tip of an underground stem, a stem tuber, and it's there because it's storing food. It's swollen with all these food reserves, all this starch. And if we were to look at a potato, we could see lots of features that we would see on a normal stem. You can see these eyes, the potato eyes. These are axillary or lateral buds, and these can give rise to new shoots. We can also see these openings for gas exchange, lenticels or lenticles. So next we're looking at the onion bulb and this is an example where leaves are modified to act as food storage organs. So we're using the onion bulb as our example of leaves modified for food storage. A bulb is an underground bud and when you look at the onion diagram there are certain important labels that you should be able to fill in. So working from the outside in, you know, when you cut an onion, there are these tough scale leaves. These are either brown or sometimes red if you're having a red onion. Then inside of this are these swollen fleshy leaves. This is where you find the food reserve. So these leaves, these swollen fleshy leaves are storing the food. Then we have this very much reduced stem and the roots. At the centre, you have this apical bud and it gives rise to a new flower. And also you have these axillary or lateral buds and these can eventually give rise to new bulbs. So when you look at an actual sliced onion, you can pick out the key labels. So you can see that apical bud, the green at the centre. You can see the reduced stem. You can see those swollen fleshy leaves. That's where all the food is. You can see the scale leaves on the outside and you can see the very much reduced stem and the parts of the roots that are still left. Let's look at an example of a root that's modified for food storage. Certain plants, the tap root, will swell up with food. This is where the food is stored. For example, the carrot plant, the part of the plant you eat, the actual carrot, this is the tap root that's swelled up with lots of food. So let's review. We now know that plants can use stems, leaves and roots to store food. These can be modified to store food. It just depends on the plant. An example of a plant that modifies its stem to store food is the potato plant. It forms stem tubers. So a potato is the swollen tip of an underground stem. It's a tuber. An example of a plant that stores its food in leaves, modified leaves, is the onion bulb. And an example of a plant that stores its food in a modified root is the carrot plant. It stores its food in a swollen taproot. At the end of this topic, it's a really good idea to make sure that you can draw and label the onion diagram really well. So remember, the best way to do well is to do past papers and to check your answers, to use your textbook and to listen to your teacher. Best of luck.